Welcome back to how to create a job board with formidable forms. In the last video, we learned how to allow job posters to make private comments on job applications. In this video, we're going to do something similar where we allow the job applicants to follow up with job posters via email right from our website. So the first thing that we're going to do is much like the beginning of the last video, we're going to need to make an update to our job application form. Currently, we are not registering applicants for the website. So the first thing we need to do is go to settings, form actions. We're going to register a user here. We'll call this register user. We'll say use the, the email, automatically generate the username from the email address, and we'll keep everything else the same. We'll make job applicants subscribers. You'll remember in a previous video, we made the job posters contributors. Now we'll create our email form. So we'll go to forms and we'll do add new. And we're going to call this follow up email. We'll add the rich text. Next, we're going to add two fields that allow us to pull in other information we'll need for this form. The first is going to be a user ID field. We want this form associated with the currently logged in user. And this field will allow us to do that. This will not show up anywhere on our form. The next thing we'll add is a dynamic dropdown. And this is going to be the poster's ID. So this will be the user ID of the job poster. And the reason that we're doing this is to make sure that we can get the job title and the job poster's email to send the follow-up email. So we'll load our options as form entries, job posting, user ID. We'll make this required and read only. We'll remove the label and we'll make this visible only to administrators. One of the other reasons that we're using the ID is to not expose the email address to the job applicant. In the dynamic default value field, we're going to add our get param equals, but instead of entry, we're going to use job poster. This value has no meaning right now, but it will when we create our view. With that, our form is created and ready to go. Over in settings, we're going to configure our email notification. First of all, we want this email to go to the job poster. So we'll delete admin email and we'll locate the job poster's email address, which will fall under poster ID. So we see email here. We'll click on the field to activate this. And now, our email is going to go to the right place. We're also going to keep the from address as the admin email for this current website. We covered why in a previous video, but basically we want the email to come from a trusted source so that it doesn't go into spam. We do, however, want to change the reply to address, but that's going to be a little tricky because we're not pulling in the explicit user information from anywhere. Unlike our job poster email, which is a form field, we need to rely on the user ID to grab the name and email address. Luckily, Formidable Forms gives us a way to do that. If you click on advanced, you'll see a number of customized fields as well as user information. We can use this user information to properly populate the reply to address. We're not going to be able to click the information directly into the reply to field. So what I recommend we do is go to the message box and then click on the user information field we want. So while in the message box, we can do first name and then cut that and paste it into the reply to field. And then similarly, we'll do last name and email address. Now our reply to field is properly populated grabbing the user information from the user ID field that we added to our form. 
the last thing we'll do is change the subject and we'll make that follow up for and then we'll grab the job title. So with that, our email notification is properly populated. We'll click update and now we'll create our view. We'll create a view called applied for. We'll use entries from job application and we'll make this a dynamic view. In a bulleted list, we will list all of the jobs that the user has applied for. So we can grab that from the job title area. And we'll include the company name as well. We also want this to be a dynamic link. So we need to grab that detail link and we'll add that in the HTML. The next thing we need to do here is filter the entries by user ID, where user ID is equal to current ID. And that is so the applied for listing only shows up for jobs that the user applied for. With our listing page created, we'll go to the detail page where again, just like the last video, we'll run through adding some information onto the page. So with our job information here, we will add a horizontal line and then we'll add our follow up email form. So we'll do follow up. We'll make this a heading. And then we'll add our new form. So this is the follow up email form. We'll click insert into post. And now we have the ID 23 here. You might remember when we created our form that the dynamic default value for our poster ID was job poster. We haven't defined that yet and this is where we do it. What we're going to do is add job poster equals and then we want to grab the ID of our job poster field. So we can click job title but we're going to need to be more specific than this. We're actually going to need to type out show equals ID. This will grab the ID of 116 and then pull the job poster in from there. Our dynamic field is then smart enough to pull the user ID or the poster ID from that form. So with this, let's go ahead and test our form. We've clicked update and now we're going to create a new page. Applied for is what we'll name the page and we will add our brand new view of the same name. We'll click publish on this. So as the logged in user, I've applied to one job. This looks right. I'll click chief engineer at creator courses. And now you see that we have the job information and then the follow up field. You'll also notice that our job poster ID has been pre populated. This job has been posted by Aaron. So I'll say, hi, Aaron. Just wanted to follow up. I'll click submit and our form has been submitted. Now let's go see if it was sent properly. And you can see that this email is looking good. We have our job name, we have the right email address, and we have the rich text that's been properly formatted. Thanks so much for watching this video. In it, we learned how to make a follow up email application for job applicants to send follow up emails to job posters. And thanks so much for watching this video series. You're now ready to start creating great applications with formidable forms.